Well, we all know the company Zappos, but don't just call the CEO Tony Shea the king of shoes. He's got a lot more than that up his sleeve, and he joins us now uh, from Chicago. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Looking back over the past two years, what has been the biggest benefit of being part of a massive company like Amazon and what you think the biggest downside has been? What, what has changed that you know, has gone away from when you were a private company standing on your own two legs? In terms of disadvantages, I'd say the biggest disadvantage is that we're part of a public company now and so we can't be as forthcoming and transparent with our financials because we used to just freely give out financials and you know TV interviews like this and so uh, but that's not really an Amazon thing that's more you know we would have eventually become a pr public company anyways and, and that would have happened uh, and in terms of advantages it's just been great having access to a lot of resources and if we to the extent that we feel like we want to tap into those but for the most part we're independent if you come to our headquarters in Las Vegas you'll see that there's no sign of Amazon around would would you say that there's anything you can do now with your company um, as part of Amazon that you just couldn't do before because you had um, it looked like plenty of cash looked like uh, you were making money at, at that period of time but what has it allowed you to do Tony one of the great things that Amazon and Zappos both have in common is that we both like to think for the long term. And there was even an example that came up uh, a few months into, after the acquisition was closed where we were talking about having the ability to refund our customers' product faster. It used to take 10 days. And I actually had gone into our equivalent of board meeting preparing to say, okay, this is going to cost you know, the company several million dollars in cash flow, but we think it's the right thing to do for the customers long term. And that was an example of something where we couldn't do it prior just because we didn't have enough cash in the bank prior to refund customers as quickly. Is international expansion next for you? Is truly selling globally into Asia, across Europe, taking over the global marketplace? Is that where you're focused now? Well, there's definitely lots of different opportunities for growth, but we feel that there's actually a lot more we can do in the U.S. We started out with footwear and you know, doing over a billion dollars in gross merchandise sales there. And apparel is actually four times the size of the footwear market, so you know, that alone should keep us busy until we get to at least $5 billion in gross sales. The funny thing about Zappos is I'm actually not passionate uh, in, about shoes or, or clothing. You know, I used to buy one pair of shoes every two years, and now I buy maybe three pairs of shoes every, every two years. So, um, so you know, the actual uh, basics of the business itself uh, doesn't really matter, and uh, it's more about customer service. And internally we talk about how we're a service company that just happens to sell shoes. And our hope is that 10 years from now, people won't even realize we started out selling shoes online, and today we even sell clothing and beauty products, houseware, kitchenware, handbags. And we've talked about how one day there could be a Zappos Airlines or a hotel that's just about delivering the very best customer service. From an entrepreneur in tech who, at the age of 24, sold your company to Microsoft, now you have this hugely successful company. What's the role of, of entrepreneurship in this country right now as we continue to face what's really a, a jobs crisis? Well, you know, so much of the job creation is being done by small businesses and entrepreneurs. So I would say you know, the best thing to do is just get out of the way of the entrepreneurs and, and make it easy for someone who is passionate about some idea to run with it.